so the rest the rest you'll help you'll yeah you'll follow me yeah praise be to god let me start from verse 35 of mark chapter 1 now in the morning have seen have risen a long while before daylight he went out and departed to a solitary place, and there he prayed. And Simeon and those who were with him searched for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is looking for you. But he said to them, Let us go into next town, that I may preach there also, because for this very for this purpose I have come forth. Now there is something wonderful. The Bible tells us that when the disciple came to him, the disciple was searching for him, but remember Christ himself, he had already left them. He went to a solitary place to give himself in prayer because Christ, while he was in the flesh, he was a man of prayer. He spent his life in prayer. That is what he did most of the time. So here the Bible tells us that the disciples were looking for him, but they could not see him. So what Christ did, so when he was in a solitary, he had separated himself from them. From nowhere, they were able to locate him or to find him. So when they found him, they said, everyone else is looking for you. Then Christ himself, that message did not make him to be moved, like to say, okay, I would love to be there where they are looking for me. No, his case was totally different. Rather, he told them that let us go to the next city. I may be able to preach there because this is the very reason why I came. But in our generation, we love to be in a places where we are being celebrated. If it was in our time, when you hear that people are looking for you, of course you say, okay, let them come because you want to be celebrated. But Christ said, him, it was completely different. He did not wait to be praised. That, that was not with him. Praise God. So, that is what really happened, that he told them, for this very reason, I came, which means he had a reason for his coming. There was a purpose. That's why it is very important to know why you and I, we are in this life. And we need to know that we have an we have assignment given to us from heaven, of which we need to accomplish. So when he told them that, of course, they had to follow him. And remember earlier on, you may ask yourself why people were looking for him. They were looking for him because of many things that they witnessed. He did many miracles in their sight that no one had done before. We see that earlier on, he cast out demons. He, he, he was able to heal people like we see in law of Peter. He just touched her hand and she was able to, the fever left him, her. So he did a lot of things. When you come, he said, even there is where the Bible says that he healed all who are sick and those who are demon-possessed, demon were being cast out. So for this reason, people were looking for him. That means that when man has a good, deeper, close relationship with God, then people will look for that man or that woman. So it means that what we should focus as individuals, to give ourselves in prayer, to know the, the mind of God. That is the main thing. You can see that Christ could separate himself from them and went in and decided to go somewhere, a quiet place, so that he can have a communion, he can communicate with God. He separated himself from his own disciples. So they had to look for him. So it means it is good to create a time in your daily basis. Create some time where you can be in a quiet time to hear from God. 
but we are being distracted with many things. Now we have on the internet. We can be on the internet, busy, scratching. We can be on Facebook or anything. So it takes our way, our time, many a times. And you may find that even when you are at work, when you open such things, no one say anything. But when you are, they find you opening the Bible, it will be a problem. But when they find you playing with, or doing something on like watching TikTok, everyone will be with you. So Christ made, learned, made us that it is good to have time with God. All these things, that is where it comes now. It confirms this way by seek first the kingdom, then all others will come. Which means when you are busy to please God, what you are looking for will come. When you are busy seeking God first, what does that mean? Yes, you are working, but in the process, as you are working, let God be the source of your inspiration. Let God encourage you. Speak to him while working. Ask him for guidance. Ask him for protection in the midst of what you are doing. It will make work easier. Let him do things together with him, the Holy Spirit. It makes things easier. And it will make you look special in the midst of many others. Praise God. Many a times we have made mistakes because we did not first listen to God, to know God's opinion. So we followed friends' opinion and always we come to an end of the journey. But when you follow Christ, Holy Spirit, His voice, there will be no end. It will make sure that it takes you where I want you to be. Now, now the Bible tells, and he was preaching in the synagogue throughout all the Galilee and casting out demons. So that was his purpose, to cast, to preach the gospel. So you need to know what, what is your, what God wants you to do in this life. What he want me to do. Now a leper came to him. The Bible says. To him and saying to him. If you are willing. You can make me clean. Then Jesus moved with the compassion. Stretched out his hand. And touched him and said to him. I am willing. Be cleansed. As soon as he had spoken immediately. The leprosy left him. And he was cleansed. And he, and he strictly warned him and saying, sent him away at once and said to him, see that you say nothing to anyone, but go your way, show yourself to the priest and to offer your cleansing those things which Moses commanded as a testament to them. So the Bible says that in the synagogue, in, the, in, that, in that environment, he noticed a man with a leper. And this man cried out and said, Lord, if you are willing, make me clean. The Bible tells us that Christ was moved with, was moved with compassion. He looked at the man's state. He felt sorry for him. He could not like to see the state the man was in. He felt sorry. He could not imagine. Then he stretched his hand because he was willing. Then the Bible says immediately that man was cleansed. There is something you can see in the statement of this man. He did not say that heal me, but rather he said, if you are willing, if you are willing, which means he realized that it's not worthy even of that cleansing. He did not command him. So he approached with the, that's we can sense a sense of humility, considering himself that is not worthy of that cleansing to be made well. Praise God. So our Lord he stretched his hand and immediately the man was made clean. And he, stricted, he told him that he should not say anything to anybody. Rather, he should go directly to, and see the priest and offer a sacrifice as it was commanded by Moses. For we know in those days, as it was in the times of Moses, that whenever somebody had a leprosy 
and it happened to be that he had been cleansed, he have to go to the, to the priest to confirm. And if he's yet to have been confirmed being healed, he have to offer a sacrifice. So that's what the Lord told him. And immediately the man left. However, he went out and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the matter so that Jesus could not no longer openly enter the city, but was outside the deserted place. And they came to him from every direction. So we know very well, it is very difficult if somebody has been of help for you to keep silent even though the person have strictly told you don't say anything. Out of excitement, you love to testify. You love to tell people what have happened. So was this man. He could not keep silent. He could not hold his peace. <clears throat> he could not hold his peace. He had to voice it out. And because of this, Christ was not, Jesus was not able again to go outside in the city freely. So he had to keep himself in the des in deserted area. And still people used to look for him. Praise God. So you may find that in this state you can see in our days, when we do things, we we'll want people to recognize us. We we'll want everybody to know that as we have been the part of someone's success or someone well-being doing, well-being. But that was not Christ. Well, that is not what Christ did. Many a times he healed the people and he tell them, don't say it. He did many things and he loved them to remain sacred. So he loved to do that. So what we learn is this, that by God willing, if you have been used to be a blessing, we should not wait for the praise. Let the glory be returned to God because we are just being used as vessels. God has many vessels to use, but if you have been privileged to be one of the vessels you want to use at that particular moment, count it joy and let it be that glory go back to God. Don't really try to say that I did it. No. It has nothing to do with you or me. It's all about Jesus. That's why I see by God willing, whenever we are being used to pray for someone and God touch, change their situation, we always say, thank you, Jesus. Why? It is Jesus. We are just vessels. It has nothing to do with us. Jesus can use anything, anybody to fulfill his purpose. So we thank him for making, being part of, before using us as a vessel to show his power, to show his grace, to show his compassion. I want you also to remember when you hear this, the Bible says that Jesus was moved by with compassion. This shows that Jesus is full, his heart is full of compassion. When you look at the state you are in, struggling, he feels sorry for you. He can't imagine seeing you going through what you are going through. That's why he always set a time for you to come out of that. There are many incidents where he just come in and he stop them. But there are sometimes he just watch and look, but still he sustain us, he protect us. That's why you see, you have found yourself in a situation that where you never thought you will see the next day, but you find yourself you are there. It means Jesus is preserving. Holy Spirit is busy preserving you. Praise God. So that is the end of Mark chapter 1. Praise God. We witness Christ. He healed the people. He cast out demons, which means we his followers. We have been given that very authority to heal sick, to heal the sick, to cast out demons. And demons have been created to be cast out. Demons are behind all the problem you can see. You see all these men, you see the Bible says, he healed the sick and cast out demons, which means sickness, you see, demon is behind it. Demon is behind it. So when you stand in faith, you cast that demon out and a person is set free and there is freedom 
Praise God. Any question? Yeah, I saw, I don't know if she's Irene, she have left. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know if you are in position to ask questions, sister, before we see what next. Praise God. Yeah, I see silence. Yeah, we give God glory and praise. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Then I will proceed in chapter 2. I will read some few verses. Yeah. Chapter 2. And again he entered Capernaum after some days, and it was hard that he was in the house. Immediately many gathered together so that there was no longer room to receive them not even near the door, and he preached the word to them. Then they came to him, bringing a paralytic who was, who was carried by four men. And when they could not come near him, because of the crowd, they uncovered the roof where he was. So when they had broken through, they let down the bed on which he paralytic man was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven you. And some of the scribes were sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, Why do this man speak blasphemies like this? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But immediately when Jesus perceived in, the, in his spirit that they reasoned thus within, within them, Self, he said to them, Why do you reason about these things in your hearts? Which is easy, easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven you, or to say, Rise and take your bed and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sin. He said to the paralytic man, I say to you, Arise, take your bed, and go to your house. Immediately, he rose, took up his bed, and went out in the presence of them, so that all were amazed and glorified God, saying, We have never saw something, anything like this. Praise be to God, beloved. Now, we can see the Bible says that after many days, he went to Capernaum. Now he entered in one of the house and many followed him. Many were gathered in the house and around which means it became difficult. The place was crowded. The house was crowded. He was busy teaching the word. So here comes four men carrying a paralytic man who is paralyzed. He cannot help himself. So they tried to find a way to bring him close to Jesus, but it was impossible. So what they decided, they unroofed the top of the roof and they let the man down. So the Bible says that Jesus, when he saw their faith, he told the man, son, your sins are forgiven you. Now, the scribes who are there, they say, how... Oh, well, how comes this man speak blasphemy like this? It's only God who can forgive sin. Then the Bible says that Jesus perceived in his spirit that this is what is going on in their heart. And he said, why do you reason like this in your heart? But he said, why do you reason this in your heart? But you may know that the Son of Man on it. Now he may he said that you may know. He asked which one is easy to say that your sins have been forgiven you, or rise and walk. But you may know that 
the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sin. He told the, to, the to the paralyzed man, rise up and walk. And immediately the man rose, was able to rise, to rose, to, ri to rise and carry his bed. Everyone who was there was marveled because they say they were amazed. Something like this have never happened. Even those who were questioning him, doubting, they were amazed. Now I want you to see this. This always happen. Can be in the gathering, can be in your workplace, can be in the midst of friends or people around you. Who, when they are listening, people are very careful with what you say. There are those who will want to question you. They'll want answers based on what you are saying. That's why you see the Bible tells us we should be careful with what we say. Because by our words will be justified. And by our words even will be condemned. So people listen and are always ready to question. Praise God. So not everyone that comes around you they are for you. Not everyone that claim to be your friend are your friend. Some of them, they are looking for a mistake. They are looking for something to paint black. So we can see here that there's something Jesus said. When he saw their faith, you can imagine, indeed this man had great faith. This was a man they were carrying. You can imagine how it was hard for them to carry this man from somewhere. Not only hard work, but also they had love for this man. We don't really know. The Bible doesn't tell us what, how many kilometers they carried him from. But that shows the love they had for him because he was like a dead man. Now, imagine how they were able to struggle to carry this man on top of the roof and to uncover the roof, you can imagine the kind of sweat that came out of them. And you can imagine the effort, the commitment they had, the love they had for this man. They want to see him again walking. So when they let him down, the Bible says Jesus, because of the faith they had, not because of the faith of the man, but those who are with him. That's why you see, it's very good if God has blessed you with the people who believe, who have faith. It makes things easier. That's why you see, when you're in the midst of people who don't really believe, doubt, you can't experience it's the move of God, you may not really experience it. So he said, because of the faith they had, it, which means those who are around you, who, which kind of people do you surround? People who believe that God can do something. So if you are surrounded with people with faith, it, is, it moves God's attention. And in immediately the Bible says that he said to the man to rise and walk. First of all, he forgave his sin. This is why you see, I'm here to encourage someone. Once one's sins are forgiven, healing come. Once one's sins are forgiven, breakthrough take place. Once one sin is forgiven, something new happens. There is a rebirth. There is something new. That's why you see, before we blame brothers and sisters, we should first seek God to reconcile with God. Maybe you are experiencing a challenge as a result of a sin you have committed. Maybe you know, maybe you do not know. That's why you see, we always, it's good always to approach God with humility, acknowledging that we are not worthy. Remember, yesterday we read, read about John. He said that the one who is coming greater than I am not even worthy to stoop his shoes or to unloose his shoes. It shows how holy Christ is. So we are unworthy. Sinful as we are, when we approach him, 
Or when we are bringing our cry to him, we should consider that we have sinned. Then we ask him to have mercy. Here you see, say, son, your sins I have forgiven you. We don't know how old the man was. Maybe basically in the age, as in the human form, maybe Christ even was, uh, in that human form, Christ was maybe 30, 31 or 2. But the man maybe was 40. But they were not wise to see, maybe telling old man's son. They would have asked themselves, why can this man call the old man's son? But it was hidden from them. Praise God. So immediately, once man's sin was forgiven, once Christ forgave his sin, the man was able to be healed. He said that you may know that son of man has power on earth to forgive sin. Christ has power to forgive sin. Once he forgive you and I, we are delivered. Once he forgive you and I, we are blessed. Once he forgive you and I, something wonderful happen. That's why we should always seek for his forgiveness. Praise God. The man was forgiven and immediately he gave a command. He told him to rise up and carry his bed. And the man stood up. Everyone may avail. This is the Lord we are trusting who does such things that no one else has done. This will make me say this to us. Don't worry how things look like. Push on on seeking God's face. Push on on pleasing God. Something. He will use you to do something that no one else has ever done. He will take you to places which you have never even dreamt. He will bring right people that will stand with you. He will connect you with the right people that will take you to the next level. Praise God. So don't give up on your faith and trust in our God Almighty because he's faithful. Praise God. Now, when you look at this, it makes us understand that Christ can do anything he has power to control everything. Let us trust him. I tell you, see the kind of love the Father has given to us to an extent that even us, we have, we forgive sin. Once you forgive sin, the person's sin is forgiven. Praise be to God. Please, if you have a question based on what God has used me to say, ask. Amen. I don't see question. question. Yeah, then I would love us to, to pray together. I would love us to pray together. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy on. In you wanna call singing, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus, you are worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift our holy on. In you wanna call singing, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus, you are worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up for you. Any one of singing, blessed be the name of the Lord. Worthy, you are worthy. King of kings, Lord of love, we worship you. We worship you, Lord. You are worthy. 
King of kings, Lord of lords, we worship you. Yeah, the Lord is prompting me to use this prayer. I would love to use this prayer with man of God. So you will repeat with him, then we'll see. So as we did yesterday, I will encourage you to do the same because God is so much concerned with the situation of each one of us. You want to see that life change. Praise God. I believe you, he you hear me. Him to deliver you from all relationships that are not of the Holy Ghost, but of the flesh. Open your lips, prayer. Say, deliver me, Lord. Deliver me. Open your lips, open your lips. Say, lose me, Lord. Lose me, Lord. From all relationships all that are not of Holy Ghost, but of the flesh. Prayer. Maintenant, ouvre les lèvres et priez. Dites, Seigneur, délivre-moi de toute relation qui n'est pas du Saint-Esprit, mais qui vient de la chair. Libère-moi de cette relation. Seigneur Jésus, libère-moi de toute relation qui n'est pas de l'Esprit Saint. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Open your lips and say, I lose myself. In the name of Jesus, from all relationships that are not of Holy Ghost, prayer. Continue to pray. Dit, Seigneur Jésus, je me libère moi-même de toute relation qui n'est pas du Saint Esprit et qui vient de la chair. Priez. Continue libérandose de toda relación que no sea del Espíritu Santo, pero de la carne. I lose myself in the name of Jesus. I lose myself from all relationships. From all relationships that are not of the Holy Ghost, but of the flesh. Prayer. Abra sus labios, confiese su corazón y empiece a liberarse de toda relación que no es del Espíritu Santo, pero de la carne. Libérese en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. You can see people are being loosed from all relationships that are not of the Holy Ghost. Scream. In the name of Jesus Christ, this will lead to deliverance. If there's any spirit in your life. We are putting the whole thing together. Any relationship. Listen, 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 listen. God has given you the key to lose yourself today. There are many relationships that are waiting for you. Now you are delivered, you go back again, and they'll bring you back again to the world. Now, because you are delivered, that is why we are offering this prayer. I lose myself. In the name of Jesus, from all relationships, from all relationships that are not of the Holy Ghost, but of the flame, prayer, open your limbs. I lose myself in the name of Jesus, from all the relationships. Ouvrez vos lèvres, continuez de prier. Je me libère dans le nom de Jésus-Christ de toute relation qui ne vient pas du Saint-Esprit mais qui vient de la chair. Priez. Abra sus labios y continúe liberándose de toda relación que no es del Espíritu Santo, pero de la carne. Empiece a liberarse en el nombre poderoso de Jésus-Christo. That was inside. In the name of Jesus Christ, you open.
put your leaves because this is the time to crown it all. It is time now the Lord wants to give you the total grace you need to go back home. So that when you get back anywhere, you will be the one to deliver them. Yeah. Not them to deliver you. Yeah. I lose myself. I lose myself. From all the letters in. Based on control. Based on domination. Based on manipulation. Continue de prier, ouvre les lèvres et dites Je me libère de toute relation basée sur la manipulation. Continue de prier et dites Je me libère de toute relation qui soit basée sur la manipulation. I lose myself. Me libero. From all relationships. De toda relation. Based on control. Basada en control. Based on domination. Basada en dominio. Based on manipulation. Basado en manipulación. Ore. Lose at them. Lose at them. Open your lips. Open your lips. Open your lips. Ouvrez vos lèvres et continuez de vous libérer de toute relation basée sur le contrôle, sur la domination et sur la manipulation. Priez. Ouvrez vos lèvres et continuez de prier. Je me libère dans le nom de Jésus-Christ de toute relation basée sur le contrôle. Dans le nom de Jésus, je me libère de toute relation basée sur le contrôle, basée sur la domination, basée sur la manipulation. Dans le nom de Jésus, Abra sus labios y continúe orando, continúe liberándose de toda relación que está basada en control, en dominio y en manipulación. Has made. Yes, say I lose myself in the name of Jesus from all the leadership based on control, based on manipulation, based on control, based on domination, based on manipulation, prayer, and based on domination, prayer. Continúe liberándose en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo de toda relación que esté bajo el control, que esté bajo el domi dominio y que esté bajo la manipulación. As people are being loosed from every relationship based on control, domination and manipulation. Around the world, join this prayer and let God touch you. Distance is not a barrier. That are not of the Holy Ghost, but of the flesh. Lose yourself, lose it, lose it. All the relationship that are not of Holy Ghost, but of the flesh. Lose yourself, lose yourself right now in the name of Jesus. Lose it, lose it, lose it, lose it. All the relationship that are not of Holy Ghost, that are not of Holy Ghost. But a flesh, lose yourself, lose yourself. 
pour que vos lèvres continuent de vous libérer vous-même de toute relation qui ne vient pas du Saint-Esprit, mais qui vient de la chair. Libérez-vous. Continuez libérandose de toute relation qui ne vient de l'Esprit Santo, mais qui provient de la carne. Libérez-vous en le nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. In the name of Jesus, begin to lose yourself, lose yourself, lose yourself, lose yourself. Continue de prier, de confesser, je me libère moi-même de toute relation qui ne vient pas du Saint-Esprit mais qui vient de la chair. Libérez-vous vous-même. Continue libérandose de toute relation qui ne provient de l'Esprit Saint, mais qui provient de la carne. Libérez-vous en le nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Ouvrez vos lèvres, ouvrez vos lèvres et continuez de prier. Je me libère moi-même de toute relation basée sur le contrôle, basée sur la domination, basée sur la manipulation. Priez. Empiece a liberarse de toda relación que esté basada en control, basada en dominación y basada en manipulación. Libérese en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Jesús, me libero en el nombre de Jesús, de toda relación, de toda relación basada en control, me libero en el nombre de Jesús, de toda relación basada en control, basada en manipulación, basada en denominación. Empieza a revocar. Continuez de prier, de vous libérer vous-même de toute relation basée sur la manipulation, toute relation basée sur la domination, toute relation basée sur le contrôle. Libérez-vous vous-même. Priez. Viewers all over the world, where can you go from his presence? Begin to lose yourself, lose yourself from all relationship based on control. Lose yourself. From all the leadership, based on manipulation, lose the same. From all the leadership, based on denomination, give us all over the world. Begin to lose the same. Lose the same. Si les spectateurs du monde entier continuent de vous libérer vous-même de toute relation qui vient du contrôle, toute relation basée sur le contrôle, sur la domination, sur la manipulation, libérez-vous de toute relation qui ne vient pas de cet esprit mais de la chair. Continúe liberándose en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo de toda relación que esté basada en control, dominación y The man of God said that God Almighty has given us the key to lose ourselves this day. Therefore, let us continue to lose ourselves. Give us all over the world. To the spectators. Begin to lose ourselves. Commence à vous libérer. Lose ourselves. Libérez-vous. From all the relationship. De toute relation. Lose ourselves. Libérez-vous. From all the relationship. De toute relation. Based on control. Basé sur le contrôle. Lose ourselves. Libérez-vous. From all the relationship. De toute relation. Based on manipulation. Basé sur la manipulation. Lose ourselves. Libérez-vous. From all the relationship. De toute relation. Based on domination. Basé sur la domination. Lose ourselves. Libérez-vous. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Begin to lose ourselves. Continúe liberándose en el nombre de Jesucristo de toda relación que esté basada en control, dominación y manipulación. Libérese en el nombre de Jesucristo. In the name of Jesus. In the 
name of Jesus Christ, be loosed. Be loosed in the name. Be loosed in the name of Jesus. 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 Give thanks to God, you are free. Rendez grâce à Dieu, vous êtes libre. You are free. Whatever chain Satan must have used has been broken. Rejoice! Rejoice! This is total deliverance. Total deliverance. There is no area of life we have not mentioned. You are loosed. Confiese su libertad. He has broken the gates of brass and caused the bars of iron in sunder. He has broken the gates of brass and caused the bars of iron in sunder.
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank him for releasing him. Thank him for releasing you. Relationship can be this is where by many you find yourself you're in a relationship you don't know. Praise God. Being controlled with manipulation and domination. That's why people manipulate you. You don't know what is going on. Domination. So you have been released. Praise God. Thank God. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for releasing me from all sort of relationship that are not of Holy Ghost, but of the flesh. Thank you for releasing me from relationship based on control. Thank you for releasing me from relationship based on domination. Thank you for releasing me from relationship based on manipulation. Thank you, Jesus, for releasing me. Thank you for releasing my family from all relationship based on control, based on manipulation. Thank him for releasing your partner. Thank him, say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for releasing my partner from all relationship based on control, based on manipulation, based on domination. Thank him, thank him, thank him for releasing you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. We are prayed and believe. Amen. We can't wait to hear your testimony. You will tell us, you will realize that something have happened. Don't hesitate to tell us your testimony. Praise God. God is so concerned. Now you are no longer in any relationship. Some of you, you see, you used to see wife come in and sleep with you. You'll not see them. Men come in the dream. You will not see them. Praise God. Because you have been released. Praise God. So you are a free man. We thank God for that. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, we thank God for how fire has brought us. By God willing, we'll meet again tomorrow. Let us say together salvation. Thank you for your coming. Before you say salvation, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for you, your people. I seal every blessing with the precious blood of Jesus. All their families, I seal them with the blood of Jesus. They are going in and coming out with the blood of Jesus. Let your mercy go before them. Continue to make every crooked way straight. Thank you for separating each one of us from relationships that are not best with the Holy, Holy Ghost, that are flesh. Thank you for delivering us, setting us free from every relationship based on manipulation, based on control, based on domination. We are free. For the Bible says, who the Son have set free, we are free indeed. We thank you, Lord, for what you have done. Lord, in the name of Jesus, to maintain this, we need you. Help us to continue to walk in righteousness, to walk in holiness, to seek and desire you than ever before. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Take absolute control of the life of your people. I stretch your hand, Father, my hand towards your people. For the right hand of God is power. Thank you for what you have done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Salvation is word abide in us and we abide in it. Remember. 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 The best is yet to come. In Jesus' name. May yeah. the grace Grace of our Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, love, the love of God, sweet, 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 the Holy Spirit, be with, be with us. us now and oh, forever. Now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and, and mercy shall follow us all Amen. the days of our life that we shall be in yeah. the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I witness, I know each one of you, you feel a different. Praise God. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. We thank God for how he has brought us by God willing.